Welcome to uh, Lucas Oil Raceway Park. This is USF 2000, US, USF Pro 2000. I'm here with uh, the J. Harrow Driver Development. So uh, yeah, we'll get some interviews in. Oh, okay. Uh, Reese Ushijima here. Um, so, uh, first of all, how does the car feel going into the race tonight? Yeah, it feels good. We had a good practice session. We uh, struggled a little bit yesterday, but we made some improvements overnight. And, um, you know, we had an unfortunate qualifying, but we're trying to work through today. And uh, what are your goals since this is the only oval race of the season? Um, what are your goals going into the race? Um, I'll overtake as many people as I can. Uh, it's my first time racing around an oval, so it's all a new experience for me. But you know, uh, I just want to learn as much as I can because hopefully, you know, moving up, I'll, I'll experience more ovals. All right, thanks, Reese. We're here with uh, Ricardo Escato, uh, USF Pro J. Howard, driver development. So, uh, how does the car feel going into the race tonight? Well, you know, the track changes a lot with the temperature, so the race is going to be very interesting. But from now, I think we have a decent car, and we'll see in the race what happens. And uh, how do you stay focused and adapt to changing track conditions as the night goes on? I think it's just about keeping focused and just don't think about nothing else that you have to do, which is driving, and just concentrate on what you need to do, and that's it. And uh, what are your goals for the race? Winning, always. All right, cool. Thanks. <laughs> We're here with uh, Evagoras Papasavas. Um, USF 2000 driver. How does the car feel going into the race tonight? Uh, car feels pretty solid. Uh, it's been like that all weekend, uh, so I'm pretty confident in the car. Uh, we were testing here, and we were testing here uh, a while ago, and you know we learned a lot of valuable information that we that we used. So yeah, the car feels pretty good. I'm confident just for the race. Uh, starting on the outside, uh, P2. So yeah, try to get the lead as quick as I can. And can you describe any uh, challenges or strategies involved in racing on an oval? Yeah, you know, especially here when you have the dirty air from the car in front as we're running wings here, it's all about trying to get to the lead as quick as possible and try to keep that lead, you know, take that clean air, take advantage of it, uh, take care of your tires. This is a 75 lap race, so there's definitely going to be some tire degradation. So it's all about being consistent, taking care of your tires and getting to the lead. All right, thanks. Yeah, of course. And David Doris. Here with uh, Lucky Hughes, how does the car feel going into the race? Uh, we just had our final practice then and the car felt felt pretty good, so uh, it's a pretty tough track, so yeah, we'll see how the race goes. And uh, as this is the only oval night, the oval and night race of the season, what goals do you have for the team and crew? Yeah, I just want to get a uh, just a clean finish really, just a good solid top five finish. Um, we're starting fifth, so it's pretty tough to overtake here, so it's it's going to be tough. But yeah, hopefully just uh, come in with good points and yeah, a good finish. All right, thanks, Lottie. Here with uh, Al Mori, the number uh, seven. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. So um, first of all, how does the car feel going into the race? Going into the race, we're going to go back to some uh, a setup we had yesterday where the car felt really, really good. So I think starting from six, we're going to have a setup that ends up being really good. So I'm I'm feeling quite quite good for the race ahead. Can you describe any uh, stra challenges and strategies involved in racing on an oval? So the oval, it's actually, uh, there's a bit more challenges involved for me this weekend. This is my first ever oval race. So coming in, there's still some strategies I need to learn about how oval racing works and all that. So I think coming into racing drivers that have other experience on ovals, I think that's a challenge put up against me that I don't have that experience. So I'm going to learn what I can here. So next time I come to one, we're even better shape. All right, thanks, Al. Hey, thank you very much, buddy. Here with uh, Jay Howard, the owner of Jay Howard Driver Development. Notice the name. Um, so as a team owner and an experienced uh, race car driver, uh, how do you prepare the drivers mentally and technically for a race like this one? Well, um, you know, ovals are definitely quite a bit different than the road courses. Um, a lot of this is all about confidence. So we definitely try and build confidence in our drivers. 
that and, and you know for us trying to give them just a good balance and you know the good thing about ovals as well you can talk to the drivers non-stop throughout the race so there'll be a lot of a lot of chatter on the radio so yeah it's, uh, we, we enjoy the ovals and can you describe the importance of teamwork within the team during the race well for us our job's done once we send the cars out here it's all on the driver there's nothing we can do at that point um, so we just hope that we've done a really good job you know all our hard work leading up to the race is done and leave it in the boys hands all right thanks You're welcome. thank you jay